The Famous Room channel is broadcasting again. We all know from the leaked 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days tell all that baby girl Lisa Ham called husband Usman Umar the N word. But the final tell all that aired had edited out Usman's revelation. Fans were furious and are forcing TLC to take action. At the tell-all after her fight with Big Ed Brown, Usman plainly called out Lisa for calling him the N-word, saying, you called me nigger. Lisa had already come under fire for using appalling slurs, including the N-word on social media. There is simply no excuse for any non-black person to use that word at all, but to call her husband that, well, it's vile. Compounded with the fact that she apparently felt free to use that slur and others on social media, it was not a good look. Perhaps the only good thing that came from that was baby girl Lisa and Usman split. Come on, you know that they needed to. She accused them of using her to further his rap career. Usman retaliated by leaking Lisa's hateful texts to him on social media. But fans are absolutely furious that TLC apparently acted as a PR agent for baby girl Lisa. They had already reportedly cast her on 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Day Strikes Back, a spin-off in which stars confront their haters. Was TLC trying to clean up her image to make her stay palatable to viewers so that they could continue to profit off of her bad behavior? That might have worked at any other time, but right now, racism is getting called out at every level with resounding fury. If you don't leave it as a principle, don't hashtag it for publicity. Tell all host Sean Robinson vaguely admonishes on Instagram. That powerful message carries a lot of real meaning. During Black History Month and LGBTQ Plus Pride Month every year, some of the companies claiming solidarity on social media have discriminatory policies. Now many companies are doing the same thing during these coverages nationwide protests, and not all of them are walking the walk. How do you feel about TLC not airing the part when Usman accused Lisa of saying the N-word? asks one commenter. The fan continues asking, when you heard it during the tell did they tell you not to address it? Is that why you were quiet? The query concludes. It sounds like Sean may have been put in an impossible position by her job. Hosting a tell-all is no joke. Being handled as we speak, Sean replies to the fan. She clarifies, that's all I can say right now. Sean also includes a red heart emoji, seeming to indicate that she appreciated a fan's concern and the question. Obviously, that did not silence fan outrage as they accused editors and execs of covering for baby girl Lisa. On Wednesday, Lisa was scheduled to do an interview on Instagram Live. Hours before the appointed time, it was cancelled by TLC. Today's interview with Trenton Davis and Lisa Ham had been cancelled due to TLC not allowing Lisa to do the interview, the statement read. Are they trying to preserve her content for themselves, or are they trying to keep her from further tarnishing the 90D Fiancé brand? We know that reports are circulating right now saying that baby girl Lisa has been fully fired from Strikes Back. Strikes Back is supposed to give the stars of this previous season, not all of them but several of them, a chance to clap back. Like on 90 Day Fiancé self-quarantined, they will film themselves on iPhones and iPads provided by production. As they respond in their own words to what critics and haters have had to say, editors will trim down the footage into coherent episodes. So has Lisa been fired from one of the easiest sounding gigs in the world? While many fans are hoping that this will be the case, we're not prepared to hold our breath. Look, one of Lisa's castmates was notorious monster Jeffrey Peschel. TLC has no problem with employing terrible people if they can make money. If the fan outcry is loud and sustained enough, maybe they'll take action. Let's hope that Sean is right that it's been handled. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.